Whenever you guys are ready, <clears throat> yeah. can you explain what you've built here? Uh, yeah, go ahead. So I, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, so we built a voice manipulator or a vocoder. Basically, uh, anyone can just talk in and the speech that comes out will be your speech, but it's modified to sound more electronic and different. And so we have like a little user interface, basically. There's a couple of different carrier signals you can use to modulate with your voice between like a sawtooth wave, white noise and triangle wave. And then we also have options, and this is all on the keypad, just to like increase the pitch of the carrier frequency and then okay. lower the pitch to kind of uh, modulate the way that your voice comes out of the speaker. Yeah. yeah. I think we like chose this. We, I mean, it's simple. You have like the choice for waves and pitch together because like we just want it to be as simple as possible. You don't need to like click, um, choose the wave and then you have to start increasing or decreasing. Mm -hmm. You can you can be, like you can you can decrease and then switch the wave and then be at that de um, in those that decreased range that you need. So that's why we left it like this um, rather than maybe um, embedding these two and like sure. each of them. And um, yeah. basically, we um, we started with uh, six filters. Yeah, we started. Right, we started eight, with eight filters. Eight filters. We yeah. started with eight filters, and then um, I mean along the line, um, we we first. I mean, in the beginning, we were just trying to like, um, uh, just trying to get it to like even pass like the speech through without like modulating or changing anything. Just get like our speech our to come speech out. Too. Just loop yeah. back. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, just get that to come out. Like what we're printing out that number. That's like uh, how much time we take to generate the samples from the speech that comes in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like our cutoff is it's in microseconds. It's like 125 it's microseconds is eight kilohertz. So, so that's just a way to check that we're still meeting like the timing requirements of the sampling. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And um, I mean, we at first tried to like push all push all the samples through like just uh, superimpose just one carrier wave, but then um, after we talked, we you realized that we had to create as much. Um, as many, yeah, as many, as many synthesizers, uh, synthesizers yeah. as filters. So yeah. then we made uh, eight synthesizers for the eight filters, <coughs> and then we had more ISR time. So then we we doubled it to sixteen, mm. and just now we're at eighteen. Yeah, so we're we at decided eighteen to, filters right now. Um, so yeah. we decided to just um, work a bit on the higher frequency. So we are just almost about um, four kilohertz. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. it works better with a bit of like higher frequencies now, and. Um, I mean, one reason we 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 had to stop here was because um, for the sample rate of eight kilohertz, um, um, because of the sample rate of eight kilohertz, because when we're using like the MATLAB to mm. calculate the coefficients we need for higher frequencies, um, it says that we couldn't do that because of the sample yeah. rate. I think it's because like a Nyquist frequency, or, like we're sampling at eight kilohertz, so we can't capture frequencies above four kilohertz. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. yeah. So that that is our limit, and um, yeah. I think um, in terms of if we if we wanted to improve this, mm -hmm. we'll just um, I mean since we have more ISR time, we could add about two or three more filters in between and then just break make yeah. the ranges smaller. And in terms of the um, term of the in terms of the noise, right? I think we could probably um, I, I I mean if we had more time, we'd probably like look at the range, like the so. In case like we're quiet and not speaking into the mic, mm -hmm. the signal or like the amount the s sample is exhibit um is given to the pico, and then just like uh, if like it's less than that, we just take everything to zero. That's probably gonna make it a bit more sense. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think we, we can yeah, just. I can so around. real quick yeah. before you do, just to make sure I'm understanding, yeah. am I correct that you're so you speak into the microphone, mm -hmm. and then you're sampling that microphone with an ADC yeah. at eight kilohertz. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and then that goes into a bank of bandpass filters. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you're using the output of each of those bandpass filters to set amplitudes for synthesizers centered at each of those yeah. frequencies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you say you have 18 frequencies, you're referring to 18 bandpass filters and yeah. 18 synthesizers. Yeah. yeah. 18 gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is... Cool. Yeah. So I'll turn it up just a tiny bit. Hello. 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 I mean, uh, give it like a complete sentence. Yeah. Hi, my name is Charlie. I'm taking ECE forty seven sixty. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, what's the, what's the uh, which which one of those five are you on? Now? Oh, we're doing right now. We're on sawtooth. Okay. Okay. Sawtooth. Sawtooth. okay. So white noise sounds white noise sounds like a bit white noise. So it's kind of it's really scratchy. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Charlie. Hi, testing, testing. Yeah. Hi. Then uh, triangle, triangle doesn't yeah. really sound different. Hi, hi, 
I, I, I feel it sounds a bit sharper than the saw, saw tooth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, we can increase the pitch or decrease the pitch. So we're shifting each of the um, the synthesizers yeah. by the fixed amount. So hi. Uh, like so. I, I mean, the best way to it. test that is um, let's let's go down, and then let me start and then you increase it. So okay. hi, my name is Skylar. I study EC forty seven fifty. And I've been here all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're pitching up your voice. Yeah, yeah. pitching up the voice. Or okay. you, can, you can also pitch it down. Kind of like an auto-tuner. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, so then this is like pitching it down. Hi. Hello. My name is Charlie. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. I mean, if we had more time, what I wanted, we were talking about maybe graphing, like, the output we sent to the DAC so you could see the waveform. That'd and be interesting, yeah. yeah. Frequency versus amplitude. Yeah. But, yeah. And like then that. also, maybe, we wanted to add more carrier waves, but we ran out of memory on the Pico, so maybe, <laughs> yeah. we, like, if we had realized that sooner, we could have added, like, the additional, hmm. I remember you talking about, about that, unless it was, like, additional memory unit we mm -hmm. could hook up, and then, yeah. so we could have more space for, like, more carrier signals to use. So you, yeah. you're not using direct digital synthesis then for the carrier signal? Uh, no, the carrier signal is just, we have like, we set that up before the algorithm starts and just in memory, it's just like an array. Yeah. I see, yeah. okay. Very nice, thank you, yeah. that's cool. Thank you. So what's your lowest frequency? 